guys welcome back to my channel and for this video I will be showing you a free tool that you can use to help you diagnose and resolve network connectivity issues this tool is very easy to use it's very handy and it's easy to download online and it's called link discovery for Windows so if you're interested please keep on watching and without further ado let's get started with the video okay so network Connectivity is one of the most common issues that we IT professionals encounter almost on a daily basis because almost every users and machines need to be connected to the internet or the network and needs to be online for us to be able to do our jobs and for the business to operate. But sometimes it's really hard to troubleshoot these kind of issues, especially if you don't have the proper tools that will help you diagnose and identify what kind of network connectivity issues you have. Sometimes it's hard to diagnose and identify the issue if you don't have the proper tools, just like the links printer tool that is kind of expensive and most company don't have that kind of tools so for example you encounter an issue where a device or machine is having network connectivity issues and you want to check if it's on the correct vlan or if the port is active of course you would need to access the network switch it's connected to to check the configuration but without a tool you would be looking for cable numbers in the databases if they are labeled or worse if they're not labeled you would need to go to the server room and trace the cables manually the downside for this method is that you can trace the wrong cable or unplug a cable by accident and that happens a lot of times but there's a better solution for that there's actually people who have developed some kind of a software that you can use as a tool and one of this is called the link discovery for windows i like this tool because it's free and it's very easy to use and you can just download it from the internet and you are good to go you can run the program itself the only downside for this tool is that it only works for windows so if you have a macbook it won't work okay so now i'm going to show you how to find the tool how to download it and how to use it okay so you can just type in ldwin on google and on the results page you can see right away that it will show up this link discovery for windows and that's what we're looking for so if you just click on this github page it will show you everything about ldwin what it's about and explanation on how to use it as well so at the very bottom is where you can click to download the latest version so go ahead and click on that and just save it where you want to save it you just need an admin account for you to run this program and if you open it you don't have to install it because it's already an executable so this is what the software looks like so this is what the software looks like so this has a drop down for what network connectivity you want to choose from and at the bottom are the results of the link discovery that we are going to do later on so if you are trying to troubleshoot network connectivity issues what you really need is the switch ip address so you can access the network switch and also you need the port number of course so you can check what configuration it is and you can change it later on and what's nice about it is that it also shows the vlan number already in here so it will be easier for you to diagnose and identify the problems sometimes without even accessing the switch so you know right away what vlan the port belongs to so normally we just select ethernet in here because we want to see what switch the ethernet is connected to and if we click on get link data here it will run the program and we will get results in a little bit so this program is very easy to use you just run it on any machine that you want to find out what the switch ip address and the port identifier is and you're good to go you'll get the information that you need and you can now access the network switch to troubleshoot your issue 
Okay, okay so, so that's, that's it for today's, today's video. I hope that you learned something. And if you have any questions about this tool, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you and answer your questions. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Thank you so much for watching.